Okay, I was just going to look at a box of whisker plot. I'm going to look at, first of all, drawing one up from a set of data and then reading one. So I'll just give a set of data here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's look at this set of data. Okay, so in order to draw the box and whisker, we need the lowest score and we need the highest score. And I'm going to put it into the five number summary so it makes it much easier to do my box and whisker. Okay, this set of data is already in order, so we don't have to put it in order. Because there is an even number of scores, we have two groups. So the median will be the middle of this one. So the median is 22 plus 23, which is 45. Then you get 45 and you divide it by 2. And you get 22.5. Okay, so that will be your median. So your median is 22.5. So I need my lower quartile, which is Q1. And I need my upper quartile, which is Q3. Okay, so let's go for that. So if we want the middle of this, there are four numbers here, so it's even. So the middle of this one would be 21.5. And then this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, the middle would be 24. Okay, so now to start on your box and whisker plot, you draw your number line. You start at your lowest score, which is 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. You go to your first score, which is your 20, and you draw, you draw your line at 20. You go to your second one, 21.5. You draw a line at 21.5. Then you have 22.5, 24, and 25. Okay, you draw your box and then you got your whisker and there's your box and whisker plot. Now in your box and whisker plot, it's broken up into groups of 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%. 25%. And this will help with reading a box and whisker plot. Okay, so we're just going to look at reading a box and whisker plot. So... All right, so just looking at reading a box and whisker plot. So the first thing that um, when you're reading a box and whisker plot that you need to consider is um, what, what all the different values are. Okay, so if you have your box and whisker plot, say it's drawn like this, <clears throat> we need to know that this is the lowest score, this is the highest score, this is Q1, this is M for the median, in Q3. So this is the L's the lowest. Q1 is the lower quartile. M is the median. Q3 is the upper quartile. And H is the highest score. Okay. So We'll just put some figures on here. Okay, so looking at this here, uh, then if from the box and whisker plot, if you're asked to find the median, it's quite easy because the median is just this middle number here. So you read off your number plane, so it's like number line, so it's 16. Uh, if you're asked to find the interquartile range, <laughs> Now the interquartile range, which is IQR, that will be uh, Q3 minus Q1, which is 17 minus 13, which is 4. And if you then ask to find the range, so the range, the range is the highest score, which is 18. So here it is here minus the lowest score, which is 12. So you end up with 6. We're assuming that's at 12. Here's your Q. That was Q1 and Q3. That's just there and there. So that's why you got 17 and 13. Now, if you're looking at um, percentages, so say you're looking at um, 
what percentage of the scores were between 13 and 17? So what percentage of the scores were between 13 and 17? So the box and whisker plot, when you have it, is broken up into percentages. So this is 25% of the scores are here. 25, 25, and 25. So they're actually like, it's actually in quarters. Okay, so it's broken up into quarters. Sometimes one quarter section might be bigger than the other. And that can seem a little confusing. But all that we're doing here is we're just bunching like more people in a smaller area here. Like so more data in a smaller area. And in here you've like you know more in a smaller area and in the other ones you've got a bigger spread. So that's a bigger spread. So when you're looking at what percentage of the scores lie between 13 and 17, if you go back up here, 13 and 17 is just your box. So that would be 50%. And further on that, um, if you had, um, let's just say we have 200 people all together with this data, then how many people, let's just look at a few, couple of different options, how many people scored between uh, 13 and 17, okay, so, and we'll also look at how many scored between, um, let's go, between 12 and 13 and then how how many scored more than a particular number like let's see um, let's say they scored more than uh, let's go 13 all right so let's have a think about that so how many scored between 13 and 17 so 13 and 17, um, if you look at that box and whisper part, 13 to 17 was just, because um, this was what, 12, 13, that's 16, 17, and this was 18, that were your numbers. So 13 and 17, that's your middle 50%. So it was 50% times the 200, and 50% times the 200 is just 100 people. Um, if you want score between 12 and 13, so if you look at 12 and 13, that's just there, so that's just one quarter, so it's one quarter or 25%. So if you find 25% of 200, a quarter of 200 is actually 50. And the last one, if you scored more than, more than 13, so that's here, all right, so that's um, three quarters or 25 plus 25 plus 25 so that's actually 75 percent so if you did 75 percent of 200 you end up with 150 people